Okay guys, so today I just going to start my new project just I think it's a lot more useful at least for me it's a CNC plasma cutting table so I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos about those guys just uh, they build their own plasma cutting table and I think they did exceptionally good job and uh, it's so good just I don't think I can do it because uh, this requires a lot of skill like about like welding skill heavy duty stuff uh, they all like weld a lot of uh, uh, steel square tube together so it become really heavy and uh, I think those machine will have to stay in one place because uh, it's very really hard to move those so what I think just is going to be easier for me just I make something like this just from uh, uh, aluminum extrusion uh, like bar so from this I can just put them together very easily using some brackets as I can machine with my CNC machine or even the small CNC machine like 3018 CNC so that's how I designed the bracket here or plate so uh, you're probably going to ask why I don't use the uh, linear bearing design just I made before just I used for my laser engraver well I just going to sh tell you why well I did start with that uh, let me show you the design so I start to design my machine using the linear bearing design that I made before just uh, well uh, I just improve it a little bit and adapt it to the uh, 3030 aluminum extrusion bar here but uh, I start to notice that uh, my laser engraver although bar that I use for rail it start to have a lot of mark where the uh, bearing just run on so I don't think just those tube will last very long because uh, aluminum cannot be hardened and even if you replace them with a steel tube they will wear out like after I don't know how long time you can use them so I decide just uh, I'm going to buy some of the uh, SBR 20 rail just I can find for a cheap price on eBay uh, so though are hardened and it's a lot more precise and uh, all the bearing I already made for it so I don't need to cut those and uh, adjust those so it's going to be a lot easier so let's just go back to that design Okay, so now get back to this design. I just have to tell you just the price of this is uh, in total is less than uh, $1,000 including this uh, plasma cutter. Uh, I bought it on eBay for $250 because it have the pilot arc. So that's what you should buy for your plasma cutting CNC machine. And uh, so though uh, 30 30 uh, aluminum extrusion uh, tube is uh, only like uh, 70 dollars for 10 of them uh, one meter length and uh, though SBR 20 rail is two of them including four of this bearing only 33 dollars that's what I found on eBay so they are actually very cheap and uh, including those three uh, more uh, NEMA 30 no sorry uh, NEMA 23 uh, 425 ounce uh, holding torque and this small motor for the z-axis everything is like including the power supply is maximum $200 so together everything here I have it for sure less than $1,000 uh, but uh, if you also want to include the air compressor um, it depends on what you're going to buy for me I got one for three hundred dollars it's like quiet tech is very quiet 27 uh, gallons so it's probably more than enough for this machine so in total if you including everything including the air compressor it might be come up to 1300 or 1200 in between those so it's still a lot cheaper compared to uh, the machine that you actually buy from a business that they already made everything it's probably not even not including the uh, plasma cutter is still like about two thousand dollars so I don't want to pay that much money so that's why I make this design and uh, so now let me just cut out all the plate here so the, the plate I did the way I designed it the distance between the holes here can still 
fit in the 3018 CNC uh, but I'm going to cut them with my big CNC machine so it's a lot easier but if you want to make it just uh, try to drill all the holes here uh, on your CNC machine and cut out the outline with your saw so let me just cut out all those pieces and I will show you the process of me putting the machine together and uh, hopefully it will cut well okay guys so I just going to show you one example to set up the cam process to cut out one of this uh, plate it's one of the big one and uh, if you use the 3018 CNC machine to make this machine you can just uh, first use the, the first few steps to make those holes and uh, pocket and then the last step to cut out the outline uh, if you have the bigger machine you can use it if not you can just cut the line with the saw so first of all let's go to manufacture and uh, go to setup just click well box point I prefer this one and here I put some extra 10 because uh, for me I going to cut the outline if you don't cut the outline for example you have the 3018 CNC machine just put zero so here I put zero okay so now I click OK and uh, well that is about it next step uh, I just going to do first of all well this pocket I had to cut it out and uh, for some big hole here like 8 millimeter hole I don't have the uh, kind of like ER11 uh, holder for the 8 millimeter drill bit so I also have to cut them out like the pocket so I just going to use some small bit like 3 millimeter or 4 millimeter to mill out the pocket and all the other thing like 5 millimeter 4 millimeter or 6 millimeter hole I just going to kind of uh, drill it through and this also I need to cut it out because it's kind of the slot so let's just uh, set up the pocket clearing for those slot and the pocket so I just going to do pocket clearing uh, easy tool selection I probably going to use the 3 millimeter flat here uh, it's uh, small enough to cut I mean anything okay uh, that's it uh, okay disable this well, I cut quite slow uh, here and uh, here I can to choose here I'm going to here I'm going to choose selection uh, well tool is inside the boundary well nothing offset because you cut inside the holes Uh, retraction high I just going to put two millimeter uh, clearing high well let's say four this one is retraction high two and uh, to cut bottom I got to minus point oh anything and just a uh, oh five so it make sure that it's cut all the way through uh, I forgot uh, to set up all the other things so let's just add it uh, well first of all I have to choose which pocket so I'm going to choose this one this one this one okay those are the things just you need to uh, cut the other one you can just uh, do the drill so yeah tolerance I just put a bit high high tolerance uh, well low well I don't know if you say hit high or just more precise here uh, shortest path mm. I know put like uh, five degree to make it cut a bit faster and that's it let's see okay so it did uh, what I expected to do so now you can just uh, export this one 
and well you can do it later okay so now I just going to like drill all the holes here though are four millimeter and all the rest are six millimeter so it will be easy so I just go to drill and first of all select the tool uh, I just going to choose first one is four millimeter flat end mill you can even also use the drill bit so it doesn't matter which one just make sure that uh, well plunge rate don't go this fast uh, I don't go like 30 millimeter per minute so to drill this is only take like 30 seconds uh, yeah, it's a bit long but not too long it's still well you still have enough time retract feed rate I'm going to say 200 that's probably fine uh, let's see here uh, I'm just going to put 60 it's probably enough but because it's uh, cutting wood so it doesn't really matter you can go a bit faster uh, hole okay just choose whatever hole you want to machine so this one 4 millimeter this one this one and this one so those are the 4 millimeter hole uh, that's it uh, well. well I'm going to put 4 2 feet high 0.5 and uh, top yeah doesn't matter bottom is more important so I want to it to go all the way through offset whole bottom here and then offset is minus 0.5 so it drill all the way through and that's it well click OK so this drill is done so let me just drill all the other six millimeter so now I just choose the select I uh, choose six millimeter flat end mill you can also choose the drill bit if you already created so this I'm going to go very slow to uh, 60 and uh, we try 200 I even go slower 40 let's say uh, it's going to be fast anyway and how okay I just going to choose those holes okay uh, what else uh, same thing for two uh, offset from five feeding hard okay minus from five and that's it okay okay so here if you do the 3018 CNC that is done for you you can just like save this part separately so each one you just change out the tool that you need uh, to use this this is three millimeter this is four this is six so you can just uh, like export say the G two paths uh, separately for me I got to add another one is the contour I do 2d contour so I can cut out this piece so I'm going to say like uh, for me I prefer the four millimeter flat end mill okay I'm going to go a bit slow uh, 300 pounds rate probably 150 and uh, feed rate I can go a bit slower I don't need to be that fast I can cut a bit smoother okay disable uh, contour selection only this contour I'm going to put some tap so four and I'm going to put two millimeter tap this tap distance 50 uh, probably more than enough okay and uh, that's it here four two 
0.5 bottom high minus 0.5 multi def that's what I want I actually well my machine is not powerful enough to cut it in one uh, path so I have to do multi def well, maximum roughing uh, still probably 0.5 millimeter and that's it here so you're going to cut uh, multiple time and here lead in and lead out I don't need it and uh, I click OK Yes, so this is exactly what I want. So we just do multiple paths here uh, to cut until it's down here. Leave some tab. So I'm going to break the tab later to have this cut out. So I'm done. So now I can just uh, save all these two paths separately. Okay, so that's it. It's pretty easy. Uh, and this is one of the m biggest one and most complicated one. All the other one is very easy. You can do it on a 3018 CNC or any other machine. So let me just show you how I put together the machine. Next.